Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can share your power apps with user in your organization as well as user outside your organizations. Also, we'll talk about the different sharing options we have in power apps. So let's just directly jump into power apps. As you can see, I have uh, the power apps created with the name of sales. If I go in here, share option. As of now, only I have the access to this power apps and I'm the owner of this power apps because I have created this. And if I want to share this power apps with any of the user in my organizations, what I can do is I can go here. I can either type email address, enter name. So I'll just enter name and I have the suggestions. I can click on this one and in the right pane, you can see there is a corner option. If I want this user to be a corner of this app, I can check this in and what a corner permission can do is that user can add it, share, but cannot delete the app as well as cannot change the owner of the app. And if I do not check this in, the user by default will have read permissions to power apps. And apart from that, you can see the data permission section. That means the data source that's associated with your power apps, you will have to provide permission to those data source as well. So in my case, I have SharePoint as a data source. So this user should have access to this data source as well in order to actually access this app. And down left, you can see a checkbox which says send an email invite to new users. So if I disable this, user will not get an email notification. If you want to send an email notification, you can check this in and you can share this app. Once you share the app, that user will be able to access your power apps. And apart from this, if I want to share this app with everyone in my organization, if I type everyone here, you can see everyone in exam IT because my tenant name is an exam ID. So that's what it's saying. And when I select this one, the corner app, the corner permission is disabled because I cannot share the corner permissions with this entire group and the rest the data permissions for the data source will remain the same. You will have to give the permissions to the user this particular data source as well. And you can share this directly. So these are the two options. If I want to share the permission with specific group of people, how can I do that? So generally in SharePoint, we have a SharePoint groups and we add user inside that group and share that permissions with the what about SharePoint list and library. Can we do the same things here? The answer is no. Here, what we have to do is we'll have to create a security group in our Azure AD and that uh, security group could be mail enabled or mail disabled. That doesn't matter. That should be a security group. And apart from that, uh, DL, you cannot share the power apps with DL. All right. DL means distribution list. So let me go to my Azure AD directly here. If I go to the group section, as you can see, I have a lot of groups created. And uh, when I go to the group type, you can see these are all Microsoft other 65 groups. And apart from that, I've created groups with the name of power app permission. This is the security group. So when you go to the new group section, you have two options group type. One is security, one is uh, Microsoft 365. So you can share the power apps with the security group, not the Microsoft 365 one. So you have to just enter the group names, group description and add a user inside that group. That's it. So I've already created that. I will not create it again. And uh, now I'll go to my power apps as I have uh, this uh, power apps permissions group created. If I type power apps, you can see the power app permissions group. That is the security group which I've created. I can share this app with that specific group and with the group I can share the corner permissions as well. Share this, that particular security group will have the access. So in case if you want to share this app with a set of users, you can share it that way as well. So these are the options you have available within your organization. So what if you want to share this app with outside organizations, means guest user, how you can do that? For that purpose as well, you'll have to go to your Azure AD in the user section. As you can see, these all are my organization user. If I want to share this app with outside organization, I will create a new guest user here. So even if you want to share this app with people outside your organization, you will have to invite them into your AD. Then only you can share the app with them. So this is the way to go there. 
there is the option of uh, invite user you can just uh, type the name like test and email address you can provide anything that should be a valid email any which way right and uh, send any personal message you can do that and just click on the invite and i can see the user with the test name is created i'll go into my power apps and type test here now you can see that uh, test is available with uh, guest mentioning there and i can provide uh, permissions to guest user as well in this case you cannot provide guest user co-owner permissions that's one restriction and you can uh, share the app directly with that guest user as well so that's the way you can invite external user in your power apps as well but you should have one you know intent created inside your azure ed and apart from that if you want to share your power apps with a teams group you can do that as well but we'll talk about that in our next video for that you'll have to use powershell for this video that's all from mine if you do like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching learn and tech